Sokosa. And there's a look at the Polish team of Kalasek and Spodiriev. Fifth uh, world appearance for them. And they find themselves in the second to last group. They do, after being 14th last year. They were fifth at the European Championships this year. They've been spending a lot of time giving seminars on a new pattern dance that they helped to invent with their coach, Sylvia Novak. It's called the Tea Time Foxtrot. And they will be performing, oh, they won't be performing it, but that will be performed by the juniors in the coming season. It's nice. kind of an honor. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. Coming up next from Poland, Natalia Kalasek, Maxim Spodiriev, five-time and reigning national champions. They've been on the Grand Prix circuit since 2016, still searching for that first medal. Dude, wow. Hello, entrance. A little fight before the thing starts. Speaking of costumes, they didn't finish his. <laughs> entry into a stationary lift. It looked a little bit short, but uh, you have For to be rotations. very careful. Yes, it looks, well, it's timing. You have to be in your positions on a stationary lift. It's not quite the same as a, as a rotation. Traditional spin. Yeah. I'm always fa fascinated about this aspect of figure skating. It seems like with a, just a couple clicks of the keyboard, and the rules change, and the whole sport looks different. Absolutely. In the off season, when they decide how to dictate what the skaters do and what they cannot do. Natalia and Max have been steadily improving across the seasons. Don't perhaps carry quite as much speed and sharpness of movement that some of the top teams have. That's, of course, all part of an ice dancer's development. Yeah, it's a subtle difference, but it's really hard to achieve when a skater is working the blade or just gliding on it. That's, I think, the basis that you build on. Their coach, Sylvia Novak, is also a technical specialist, so she will be very good on this Tiger Romantica on helping them achieve the key points, having the inside view, so to speak. Although, of course, as we know, all technical panels tend to see things slightly differently. Spodirev of Poland. This, was, this is their fifth appearance at Worlds. Their best finish was in 2017 when they finished 14th. Last year, they were 17th. I like that ending. Interesting start, interesting ending. Interesting. Yeah, that's true. Interesting actually. end, yes. And um, I felt like this was like a, a happy tango. You yes. know, it wasn't in intense and it kind of seemed to settle, like that, that choice of phrasing of it, it seemed to settle well with where they are in their career or their skating style. I don't, I don't know that being super intense would have read as well on them. No, they definitely went with their strengths. And I mean, that's, again, you, you're figuring out your identity, you're figuring out where you want to go with your skating. There's Sylvia. Well, they've been on the Grand Prix circuit since 2016. Their best finish has been fifth. 
They were able to do that this year at the Grand Prix of Russia and also their appearance at the 2019 Europeans this year. They had their best performance as well with a fifth place finish. It was a very, what I would call a considered performance. It wasn't skated with abandon. It was skated within themselves because everybody knows that with only five elements in the short dance, one mistake can take you right out of the picture and make it absolutely impossible for you to achieve any right. of your goals. It's kind of like doing steps into a quad. Yes. I could do those steps, but will I do the quad? Exactly, exactly. And five elements is, is so few that there is really no recovery point if any of them go wrong. Cool ending, mm -hmm. very nice flip, I like that. Obviously, you start something like that off the ice. Oh, yes. Like <laughs> yes. No blades on and no ice to slip on. Actually, Paul and Piper did something like that and went into a rotational lift with it a few years ago. So you can develop it even further when you get your head around it. Even his vest works well to show yeah. off his shirt. <laughs> Uh, true. Yeah. Natalia Kalasek, Maxim Spodiriev of Poland, 73.64. We'll put them in fourth place here.